everyone, this is Andrea Gatti from my study room. Welcome to the Dramas channel. If you like our videos, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to follow us on our social media. You can find us on Facebook, on TikTok, on Pinterest, on uh, Instagram. So I look forward to see you there. So today I'm going to talk, start this new series, which we're going to talk about the rudiments. Now today we're starting with the, uh, with the first one, which is called the free stroke roll. So it's called the free stroke roll because it's composed by three notes. We're going to see it in various stickings and then we're going to see various applications. So here we go with the first sticking, with the first example. So we're going to have an eighth note followed by the two sixteen notes. So it's going to be this period here. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. And uh, we're going to apply an accent on the eighth note on the beat. The importance of these uh, exercises is not so much how fast you can get immediately, but is applying the correct movement and doing the right motions. So we are teaching our brain these motions and we are applying them in a, in a context, in this case on the free stroke roll. Let me show it to you without the metronome and then we're going to do it with the metronome at a slow speed. So we're going to start with an accent, so it's going to be be careful on your, on your upstroke, so use the Muller technique if you know it. If you don't know it, go and check out my video where I explain it. So we're going to apply the winding motion of the Muller and then we're going to follow by uh, a left and the right. The left is going to do an upstroke preparing for the next accent. Let me show it to you. It's going to be like one in and a two in and a three in and a four in and a. It's very important the preparation and the movement. Check, check them out. It's going to be like down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, and so on. I encourage you at the beginning to keep the metronome on a subdivision of eight notes. To be more precise, so you're gonna have the referral point on which to start each movement, so the accent and where to do the upstroke. I'm gonna execute this at a slow speed, at 60 BPM. One and two and three and four. And Now keep in mind that this exercise you can take it as fast as you can. I mean the sky is the limit. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So don't don't but don't rush to be to get fast. Check out your movements and I suggest even to count to sing the movements you're doing. So down, up, that, down, up. Like I did in the first example. Okay, let's move on. Now we're gonna look at the sticking number two. The sticking number two is gonna be done by playing the eighth note with the right hand, and we're gonna have the two sixteen notes done with a double stroke on the, with the, our left hand. In order to execute the accent, I um, make use of this technique called the free stroke or a, or a full stroke, so it's the same thing. So I'm gonna start from the top and, gonna, and give an accent, allow the stick to come back up and I'm gonna catch the stick back up so I'm ready for the next accent. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, starting with my left hand. Okay, 
Now that we've seen the first free sticking, we're gonna look at the fourth one. Now the fourth one is a little bit more challenging because we're gonna have three notes with one hand followed by three notes on one hand with the other hand. So we're gonna do the, the accent with one hand and there's two 16 notes with the same hand. And then we're gonna switch to the other hand and do the two 16 notes with the left hand. Pay attention to the movements before you even put a metronome on. Just st study it. Let me show it to you very slowly. So one in and a two in and a three in and a four in and a five in and a three in and a five in and a four in and a You see how I'm doing the upstroke when I'm playing the 16 notes. I'm pulling up the other hand to prepare myself for the accent. Once this all, you've studied all of these separately, there's another application that probably some of you know already. And uh, it's just, we're gonna use the first sticking and we're gonna move the accent from the beat to the off beat. What do I mean with this? So we're gonna play like the first method, the first way, like as I said, so what it and up, it and up, it and up, it and up. But then we're gonna uh, invert it on, on the second measure. We're gonna start with an upstroke. So we're gonna have the two sixteen notes and the eighth note. So it's gonna be like one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. And then at the end, we're gonna have two accents that are gonna be close to each other because we're gonna have the end of four. And then we turn it back with the accent on the beat with the other hand. So it turns around. This is a very nice uh, exercise, and you, which we can have various applications, which we will see. Okay guys, here we are with our application on the drum set. Now I'm gonna show you how I, you can apply the last exercises that we did, the one that turns around, and we, I will apply it first of all on the toms, and then I will apply it on the cymbals with my kick. So I'm gonna play the accents on those two elements of so the toms and the, and the cymbals. I always encourage you to to be creative so once you get your knowledge try and experiment try and use um, for example say how can i use that in a groove how can i use that in a fill how can i use that in many ways and just just be creative so i'm just gonna show you a few examples and at the end i'm gonna do a little solo when i'm gonna use this free stroke roll and uh, see how you can apply it in many ways
thank you guys for watching thank you guys for following us for supporting our channel we really appreciate we do our best to give information for drum education and uh thank you so much again god bless you see you next time bye bye <laughs>